Hello YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of Playing with Lego. Today we have two special guests. We have Big T and Big T and Little Buskis. Today we will be reviewing a Lego Legends of Chima set. This is Tiger's Mobile Command. It's set number 70224 and it has 712 pieces. So here we go. Enjoy. The first minifigure we have is Eris. This is a cool looking eagle. We have a nice scepter there and fancy fire wings. So this is a different Eris than I've gotten before in the past. A new and improved Eris. We have the red pants. We have a red symbol on the, the mask. And let's take the mask off. Here's a look at Eris when you take off the mask. You can see the blue face with the beak. And I took off the armor so you can see how the torso looks with the leg printing. Really nice, very fire-like. Here's Eris with her alternate face which looks almost exactly the same. Here's a look at Eris's back torso printing which also looks like wings, red wings. Actually gold wings with red background. And here's a look at Eris's wings from behind. Those fire wings look great. Next up we have Tazar. Tazar from the Tiger Tribe. This is a nice one. I like that mask or the face with the tiger, the Bengal stripes there. And a great torso with the abs and different leg printing and toe printing too. Well, you can't see the toe printing. Let me move it back. There's the toe printing. Here's Taser from behind. You can see the black stripes there with the straps, the cross straps. When you take off Taser's head molding, you can see the face and the face looks cool kind of pouting and Taser does not come with any back head face printing. The next minifigure we have is Trakar with a growling face. Very cool, very similar to Taser which is here but Trakar has the growling face and the torso and leg kind of the same but kind of different. We have a skirt going on for Trakar. When you take off Trakar's head molding, you can see the face which is growling but pretty much looks like Taser, but just with a growling face. And again, no back face printing but the back torso printing looks the same as Taser as well. And next up we have Breezor who looks like a woodchuck. I'm not even sure what animal that is but we have the buck teeth there and a spanner wrench. Interesting. Must be a mechanic. But this is just one mold. There's no kind of headpiece. It's just a, a molded piece there. So let me kind of just show. So it looks like that. But we have the small little legs and just a plain torso for Breezor. And this is how the back of the molding looks like. Not bad, kind of bushy. Here we have Sir Fangor. A nice looking white wolf. Is it a white wolf? It looks like a white wolf. We got a cool, I don't know what that is, like a laser hand thing with the blue lasers coming out or is that ice? Maybe it's blue ice coming out. We have a claw, we have a ripped up cape, we got trans blue leg and is there a trans blue arm? Yep, a trans blue arm as well. When you take off the head molding, you can see a very scarred up face. Something nasty has happened to Sir Fangar. Sir Fangar also comes with an alternate face which is also scarred up. And you can see the torso printing a bit better when I take off the armor. And some nice back torso printing for Sir Fangar as well. And the last minifigure we get is Cybris. Another, I guess, ice wolf. Not sure what these guys are. But we have a nice head molding and when you see from the side, there's even printing on the side. I guess that's like the hair, the hair piece. And here on the other side, you can see the fangs coming out. But you get a nice gun there. You take off the gun 
and you can see we got a trans blue arm and a trans blue leg so very cool when you take off the head molding you can see the face better we got a little piece of hair that's almost covering the eye there you can see the fangs coming out not as scarred up as Sir Fangor but a very nice minifigure I like the trans blue armor as well when you take off the armor you can see the torso a bit better some nice printing there oh I think it's a female you can tell it's a female because of the black the black marks on the side so Cybris is a woman we got some um, nice printing on the legs as well and when you turn her around no alternate face printing and you can see the back torso printing is nice So here's the main build and this is the Tiger Mobile Command. I guess it's for the Tiger Tribe. But this is an interesting looking set. We have some treads here so it moves. Well the treads aren't even turning. It turned when I was on doing it on the pool table. But these guys turn. I guess it's not turning because it's on the table. I don't know. But it should turn. This is all brick built here. This tiger and the mouth can open and shut. It's another feature is this. So if you kind of push that like so, the wings kind of fly out, which is kind of cool. It's really smooth motion there. Uh, what else? Oh, in the front here is another feature. So you can put the trap door or the gate down and if you push this in the back there's a little uh, pushy thing over here so if you push it the squirts out Whoop, almost fell so this motor vehicle squirts out and you have two on both sides so you have another one on this side so it can squirt out so let's take a look a closer look at these little motor vehicles so these are two little Tiger motor vehicles, both of them exactly the same. It's a nice little design, kind of like a motorcycle. But we have a steering wheel there, the minifigure can sit like so, some blasters in the back. So it's a nice little motorcycle. Here's another feature, so if you can take the tail off, see the little connector there it connects to the back so this part comes off and then the wheels kind of turn in like so so it can stand and then this pops up and it's a little command center with a computer there and you can have the minifigure standing in here we have a satellite dish on top and I guess it can turn into a little playset so there's the command center and the front of the vehicle here and that's where the little tiger sits so interesting looking set this tiger mobile command but that's what you got for chima we also have a bunch of stickers in this set stickers over here here and well, actually this is a printed piece which is nice so you got at least one printed piece but everything else is stickers. Here's another sticker over there. So here's a better look at how the wheels turn. I guess you need to do it on carpet or felt because when I was trying to push this on the white table, these treads were not moving, but you can see how they move here. Very nice. And you get this little ice catapult. So you put a trans blue, I guess, cylinder there and then if you flick this it's supposed to fire out you have to do it really hard should I do it I'll do it yeah and it just flops out but that's the feature big T yeah what's your favorite part of the set my favorite part is how it can become wings Ooh, how it can fly yeah and how it can have little areas where the people where the things come out oh nice Ooh. oops uh, what's your favorite minifigure? I like this guy. 
Who's that? I don't know. Oh, the beaver who looks like a woodchuck. Yeah. What's your rating out of 10? Uh, eight. Eight out of 10. Little Buskis. What? What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of that set is how um, this can move. The wings? Uh-huh. That's cool. I like how it flings out like that, too. Uh, what else do you like? Uh, I like... The treads? Uh-huh. They're cool. And I also like this. What does this even do? It's a catapult. Oh, sorry. It shoots ice pellets. Pew! Uh, what's your favorite minifigure? My favorite minifigure? This guy. Who's that? Oh, the tiger. That is... Tazar! Yeah. Oh, no, that's not Tazar. That is... Trekar! Trucks are. Um, what would you rate this set out of ten? Nine. Nine out of ten. Awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. My favorite part of the set would have to be this brick-built tiger face. Looks nice. I like it. We have the side view here, and it actually looks like a fierce-looking tiger with fierce teeth and fangs. If I were to rate this set. I would say just part it out. So this concludes this episode of Playing with Lego. This is the Brick Adjuster with Big T and Little Basket. Signing off. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.